Comments by a great minister and a Betifi member of parliament, Brian E. Champong, has been met with varied views in the last few days. Many have condemned his comments, which they say has the tendency to fester chaos as the country prepares for the crucial 2024 polls. Former President John Mahama speaking to NDC delegates at Okre in the eastern region on Tuesday, April 11, responded subtly to Brian E. Champong's comments. <laughs> Nasem Yamia Nisisha, Nipa Bien to Miss Sano, Enti and Sama Ebin Mo Canadia, Mamu Fama Adrian Tosso. Same day, April 11, the National Democratic Congress were at the police headquarters to present a petition to the Inspector General of Police. The petition called for the arrest and prosecution of their Greek minister Brian E. Champong, who was also embroiled in the Ayawasu West War gone by election violence. A day after that petition by the NDC, the governing New Patriotic Party has also petitioned the Criminal Investigations Department of the Ghana Police Service. The NPP's petition called on the CID to arrest former President John Dramani Mahama and the NDC's National Chairman Johnson Asiedun Ketia over alleged treasonable comments they are said to have made. Director of Communications for the governing New Patriotic Party, Richard Ahiagba, says it is the NDC which has been touting its revolutionary past, adding that the NPP remains a peaceful party. It's, it's occasioned by the NDC rhetoric. We, we have not proposed any such harsh talk in the country. And in fact, our history explains to you who we are. We, the NPP, you've known us. Uh, our, our approach to politics is clear. We wanted democracy back in the day when PNDC had all the... But Felix Kwachiofosu, an aide to former President John Mahama, described the petition as a joke, adding that the Peace Council, for instance, should condemn the NPP over the comments. A complete waste of everybody's time. We have done nothing that indicates that we are going to undermine the peace and security of this country. We are also not in government. It is the NPP that is in government that has shown signs that they are prepared to kill during the election. Whether or not the police CID will act on the two petitions presented to them remains to be seen. Meanwhile, the National Peace Council says it has introduced a guideline for the use of intemperate language among political parties for proper dialogue. Reverend Dr. Ernest Edujemfi is chairman of the National Peace Council. I want to use the opportunity we have now to appeal to them that just as we had a discussion here, we expect them to abide by the decisions we took.